I don't think of myself as a powerful person. Uh, you know, what does it mean? Power, to me, is something that you earn over time. It means you get a better, you know, seat in a restaurant or tickets to a screening, whatever it may be. But it is a wonderful opportunity to be able to help others. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. How do you define power? Ability to set the agenda. Do you think of yourself as a role model for women? Do you? Um... I, want, I want to help people uh, draw the best of what they can give. How do you go about doing that? You leverage, you wield your influence. I suppose, okay. You encourage uh, people. I suppose power is the ability to influence. I look at power and influence differently. I look at power as the ability to get people motivated and to get them to do things that maybe they don't think are important, but in the end are in pursuit of something greater than themselves. Power to me is the condition that enables you to perform and develop the things you think needed to be done. Power today, uh, at least here at the Times, is living up to the name New York Times. You earn it in the company that you're working in, in the community that you're involved with, in the organization that you're affiliated with. You earn it over many, many hours, days, years of hard work so that when you get to a position that you're able to influence future decisions with much more respect from the people around you than you might otherwise be able to do. The TV aspect of my job is the power, but it's the sort of the least interesting because what's fun is interacting with the people. And what I hope it is, is the power to be a force for good. And I think that in this work, which is really, in my view, a service job, mm -hmm. which is to say to take care of people with information, which diminishes fear, which increases the quality of our lives. Right? If you can be a purveyor of that, then you can be a force for good. Power is often associated with authority, with you know, great and, and lofty titles. But influence, distinct from power, is really something quite different. So I'm well aware of how influential. It's amazing to think about that in a world where there are new digital publications being born by the hour and other newspapers, like how important and dominant and irreplaceable the times has remained. You can have the power of knowledge. You can have the power of a political position. You can have a power of economical position or social and cultural leaders. But the important thing is how you execute the power in the terms of ensuring people's rights and improving their lives and their dignity and respect. That is power for me. What's your least favorite stereotype about powerful women? I don't think it's so much about wi uh, powerful women. I, I think in, in some cases there are stereotypes about women mm -hmm. that I often don't uh, f uh, hear um, men talked about in the same way. You know, the she's tough stereotype. Are you tough? Uh, I don't. I think as a reporter, I was as an investigative reporter. I had tough standards, you know, formidable way of framing stories and reporting them. Though I always had an open mind, but I don't think of myself as a tough person. No. What I hate in the stereotype more than any other, what I dislike more than any other, is this idea that a woman can only be successful because she somehow. Um, connived or engineered her rise. Mm -hmm. That she could not rise is simply because she was too good to be denied. That irks me. What's your least favorite stereotype about powerful women? The business look. I should say anything that is that is taken to the extreme. So yeah. the business look. You have to look like a businessman. And you feel that pressure that sometimes you know, yeah. and I try to resist on occasions. Okay. How? not being overly businesslike. <laughs>